Hi guys. Um, this is a request, a couple of requests I've had to just uh, show people how I made the chimney cowl for the rocket stove or for the flue. Okay, so I did it with paper templates. Um, basically, this is how. This is a five-inch pipe. My actual chimney is six-inch, but it doesn't matter. But yeah, five-inch pipe. Uh, and what you need is you need an inch clearance on each side. Well, not an inch. I'd say about three quarters of an inch is, is plenty, really. So I just glued two pieces of wood on there to give me the clearance. Take two pieces of wood on. Now you want a piece of card. Uh, and just bend it into a bit of a curl and then you just want to stick the card on there temporarily this the front of this lip the bottom of this lip wants to be about half an inch below that edge of the uh, top of the flue pipe so you just want to drop that down a bit um, and just stick a piece of tape on there Roughly in the centre of that timber, this card's just wide enough. Right, now the angle of this is approximately 50 degrees. Um, so looking, looking into it, it's like that. That's the first flute on the, on the cowl. Okay, so to get the to get this level line in, I just so you just take something uh, and just trace it across across your bench just to get your your level line through. So sort I of like that. And I'm gonna whip that off again. Right, get that tape back on there. Beautiful sunny day today. Right, so now you drop that front edge about half an inch below the top of that cowl lip, and you're going to be around there somewhere approximately there at an angle like I said of about 50 degrees so you're looking for something around there now the, this first flute is three inches from there to there so all you do is you just mark on there three inch find my tape mark three inches on the front of that then you take your off cut and draw that around there like so is that right no 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 sorry 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 you need about three quarters of an inch on this edge and that's where you're going to mount it with a couple of uh, rivets so put the edge of that onto there and then draw that over and cut that out so you end up with that and really that's the hard work done because you mount you mount that one on there like that And that's your first flute, approximately 50 degrees, like I say, which is around about there. You then make another one of them, and you mount that so that it's three and a half inches, or just lipping over there at three and a half inches. That's your second one. The second one you make will have to be a li little bit longer on the length, just to, just to bring it out, because you want a three quarter of an inch gap at the front edge where the next one bends over, kind of like that, um, kind of like that, 
about three quarters of an inch as I say so it's tight on the sides with a three, to, three quarter inch gap there and three inches up to there that one exactly the same as that just cut it out three three inches tape it on there temporarily you can do all this with cardboard at first just so you know just so you get the look right and then obviously all it's a matter then of making the top cowl which is about 12 inches long so your top cowl sits on top of your next one again three quarter inch gap underneath and it wants to be about 12 inches long the top of your cowl and it's I'm sure you'll suss the shape out because it's the it's the same it's the same shape on the bottom but to make the cowl you just actually take it up like that and when you've bent that round you've got your cowl top then okay so you've got uh, you've got your three flutes sitting in there and all I did I made I made a small bracket as my scissors there, there I just made a small bracket about it was about three quarters of an inch wide bracket and I put a fold on that end and you want to make it the length of the and I put a fold on that end bracket was about an inch long there that bracket sits like so and get it behind there okay that, that bracket sits between your blocks and then your your three your, your two fins and your top cowl sit over it and all I did I put a rivet I drilled a hole right through the lot and I put a pop rivet through clamped it up same on that side I just put one rivet in when I first did it so that I could just slide and adjust them so they looked about right and as I say it's fifth that's 50 degrees your next one's 50 degrees your top one your top of your cowl is about 45 degrees it just pitches back a little bit more then you just need to make yourself uh, a little sail fin to go on the top of the cowl sloping back obviously this the fin simple it's just a matter of drawing like a shark fin really to stick on top and it that that actually stabilizes it in the wind because um, you get you get a good pull of air over that but the fin stops the thing just spinning round and it keeps it directional so it's always facing away from the wind the back end um, and when the wind hits hits this from this direction it forces the air up between the flutes and it actually pulls on the back so you get a better updraft from the flue right to mount this onto the chimney onto the uh, top of the chimney again I made a bracket same same design I made a bracket to sit in there And again, I just drilled some holes through there and I riveted the bracket onto the flue. Now all you need between the flutes, your flutes in cowl assembly and that bracket is a little bearing such as that. Well, it's not a bearing, but <laughs> you get the idea. You just figure out some way of mounting a bearing between that and your bracket which holds your cowl together you attach that to there you attach that to your top bracket and away you go you've just got a nice spinning cowl and I recommend if you're getting downdraft problems on any kind of stove really I recommend these because it's probably the best cowl I've come across for stopping downdraft alright guys thanks for watching uh, take care of yourselves bye for now so here's uh, just a little picture of the of the cowl on the roof. 
can just see the uh, flutes there. One, two, and the top plate with the little shark fin on the top. Uh, and on the final fix, I put a couple of rivets in the side to stop the whole thing moving. Right, the bearing assembly is, that's how I fix the bearing on. Uh, I welded a bolt to the center of the bearing and then I welded the outside of the bearing onto that little bracket there. Uh, just zoom out a little bit. So yeah, there you can see the, the bearing spinning round on top. Like I say, it's a bit uneven that, because my, my uh, metal working skills aren't that great. But, you know, it works really well. Uh, and it does take, it does take the fumes away from the flue and it also creates a bit of updraft as well on a windy day but it certainly does stop the downdraft okay guys